Okay, today is chicken and dumpling day. What do I have in the pot? I've got a chicken that's boiling. We added some salt and pepper, a stick of whole butter, and four bouillon cubes. We're going to let that boil for an hour or so, and then we'll get Jane out here and we'll start making dumplings. All right, you stirred your wet, your dries together. And now I'm going to put in my Crisco, and I prefer butter flavored Crisco. I like to warm my spoon up a little bit under some hot water so it dips out. And as I said, I'm going to try and measure and kind of see how much of this I use. That's just over a fourth of a cup. And I'll probably need about that much more. So we're going to say about a half a cup of Crisco. Now I use a fork and I cut this Crisco in until it's very fine, it's just almost the consistency of cornmeal. This takes a little while. Okay. Okay, while well, Jane's cutting in the flour, I showed y'all earlier that chicken that we had boiled. And it's completely out of the, the broth right now. It's laying right there in that pan. And in a few minutes, I'm going to have to start peeling it off the bone so that we don't have bones in our chicken broth and there's the broth right there that the uh, that we started with we boiled the chicken in that water and we added butter and four bouillon cubes and a little salt and pepper Okay, Jane's been cutting in her flour and her Crisco. Is it looking like it's about right, baby? It looks like it's about right. You want to get most all the lumps out. You may have a few small lumps. That's okay. But uh, if you have a pastry blender, that works real good to cut it in. I don't happen to own one, so a fork works just as well for me. And that's the way I've always done it. Okay, our broth needs to be very hot. It does not need to be a rolling boil because if it's a rolling boil, you will end up uh, boiling your dumplings apart. I'm going to flour my board. I use a Tupperware pastry sheet. I have washed my hands well. I want my board floured real well. Okay, I'm going to Put about two cups of this hot broth into my flour mixture. That helps give them a richer flavor. Okay, now you don't use milk or anything like that. No, I'm going to add a little water to help wash the rest of it. And about two cups of your chicken broth, as I said, that gives them a rich flavor. And I'll just continue adding water until I get it the consistency that I want. What you looking for? Time to move to my spoon. I still have a little dry flour in there, so I'm going to continue adding a little water. Is this fairly wet, though? It's a, yes, it's a, a wet, soft dough. I'm 
Dunkin' Dumplings is all so messy, so before it's over, I'll have flour all over me. And we're going to dump this out on our flour board. And I'm going to knead it a little bit. Now you started with four cups of flour for the basic dough, but you're adding flour in as you need, aren't you? Yes. Well, that's, I'll say your, your board needs to be well floured because you don't want it all sticking. Okay, so I'm going to transfer all this back to the bowl. Get about a fist size, depending on how big your fist is. Mine's not very big. I'm just going to pat that out. Get it well coated with flour. Now, I use a marble rolling pin, which I love. It has enough weight that you don't have to press down a lot. And I'm going to roll these out pretty thin. Pretty thin. Now let me ask you a question. I'm looking at this pot beside you. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's boiling pretty good. You're going to back it off a little bit? I'm going to back it off. I'm on a bit simmer, but not a rolling boil. All right. Okay. Now, I use the back of a case knife. And I just cut my dumplings. Any way you want to cut them, drop them into the broth one at a time. And they're not necessarily going to be uniform and pretty, but they sure are going to taste good. If you can see how thin I roll them out. That's less than a sixteenth of an inch. Probably so. And you drop them in there one at a time. Mm -hmm. You don't want them to glob up and stick together. And about the time they get to hot water, they're pretty well done. It doesn't take them long. All right, I'm gonna get a range on this other side. See if I can get over your shoulder. trick I've learned that I can do after you do them a while you can too. I can pick up three of them, twist them over and drop them in my pot. That one giving you fits, isn't it? It was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, as you get them where they're on top of each other and you need to stir, stir from the bottom of the pot gently. Do not stir them hard or you will break them up and eventually you'll have them 
all put them together. And you'll have one big dumpling instead of a lot of little dumplings. Okay, now you're going to pinch off another fifth size piece mm -hmm. and do it again. Do it again. Well, I'm going to turn this camera off and I'm going to go peel that chicken and get it deboned, all right? Okay, I'm going to do this until I use all of my dough. Well, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, I have deboned the chicken and it's over there in a pan behind her. Grandma's still cutting dumplings. And you can yeah. see down in the pot. I'm sorry, baby, you saying something? I was going to say, you can cut them as big or as little as you prefer. Totally up to you. Some people make drop dumplings. They like the big dumplings. I don't. I like the very thin dumplings. Which is what my family seems to prefer. Well, I remember when we were dating, right after we got together, you came over to the house one night and I had made some dumplings in. And... I said, those are not dumplings. <laughs> they were about the size of a softball. <laughs> well, maybe not. <laughs> but certainly bigger than a golf ball. Now when we get through, get all these in the pot, get that counter cleaned up, we're going to put these in a crock pot, aren't we? Yes we are. They tend to sometimes stick if you leave them on the stove for any length of time. If you're going to cook them and serve them right away where you can turn your fire off, uh, you're okay leaving them in a pot. But I like to put them in a crock pot because then they don't stick and they stay nice and separated and so if we put them in a crock pot we could let them just sit there on low for an hour we could take them to the church we could do whatever we want to do with them couldn't Correct. We? i have about three more to roll out all right this is kind of the time consuming part is rolling them and cutting them and putting them in the in, in the pot. Oh, kiddo. Right now. Hello. Hello. We're YouTubing this morning. Oh. Okay, Jane's got that last ball rolled out. Hey, Barrett. Well, we're putting up a YouTube on how to do dumplings. I don't know anybody better to do the dump to do the dumpling YouTube video. <laughs> Y'all seen Matt this morning? Cool. All right. Okay, and that's your last ball of dough, is it? Yes, it is. And as you can see. And look, oh yeah, this is great. It's messy. It's messy. We got dough. Every, we got flour everywhere. I was doing this one time, and one of our grandsons was a little boy. He's now a full-grown man. He went running in the living room, and he said, "Papa, Grandma's making a mess in your kitchen." Papa said, "I sure hope so." So, don't expect it. This is a neat experience and don't expect that it's a quick meal. It is time consuming but it's worth it. From the time we put the chicken in this morning until right now it's been what about two and a half three hours? Yeah. Yeah.
Okay, since we've been off camera, we've cleaned up and put them in a crock pot. Jane's adding the chicken now. Shredding it up. Shredding it up. I've deboned it, but she always likes to do it herself because I don't do it quite the way she likes to do it. Of course, now, Bo is right over here. That's our quality control examiner. Does he know you're, you have chicken, Jane? Uh, not right now. Not right now? Maybe later. He would uh, be all in it. Oh, yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Major D misses a bone or yeah, he does. misses some skin, so I do the quality control. Quality control? Okie doke. We are just about done with the chicken and dumplings. This is the final step. We got a big old pan of yeast rolls here. They looking good. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. Alright, we're going to let Lucas try the chicken and dumplings. It's good. They're good? Is that what you asked for? Well, there you go, Tiger. Grandma will make you chicken and dumplings. N-O. N-O. What do you think, Quinn? They fit to eat? Yes, very good. Oh, yeah. How about it, Zachary? Pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty good. Yeah, he's not even going to look up. He's just going to eat. It's not good. They are there. They are good. 